My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, we are welcome to episode number 54 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. Today, we shall be discussing the reflection of light. Before now, in fact, for the 79th time, I have told you that waves, waves are disturbances, waves are shakings, and these disturbances, they have two options. They can choose to travel via materials, like they can choose to travel through solid, through liquid, or via gases. In that case, we say that these waves, they require material medium. As such, we call them mechanical waves. Then the other type of waves, they have pride. They will say, no, 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 me, I can't travel through anything. I choose to travel through space, vacuum. I don't need anything to travel through. Yes, there are waves like that. These waves or these other waves that don't require medium are referred to as electromagnetic waves. And light belong to this class of waves, EM waves, electromagnetic waves. During waves introduction, I told you that waves exhibit certain characters, certain properties, certain features. And one of the features of waves we discussed was reflection. We said that waves can reflect. What is reflection? If this is a surface and waves go to the surface, the wave can bounce back. And since we are dealing with light, we shall be looking at reflection of light. Those days, when we were small, when we were tiny, when we were minute, okay? Now, you see somebody sitting here. You, you are standing here. You want to look for trouble. This person is very focused, thinking about his or her. Okay, this babe is very focused, thinking about her life. You will take a torch like this and shine it in a surface like this. So, you'll be looking for different angles. So that this innocent person would immediately notice reflection that the light should be shining directly to the person's eyes. The person just gets shocked. Ah, what happened? You found trouble. Although many of you did not play, but for those that play and those that will play, you understand this explanation. So light bounces back when it enters its surface. So the bouncing or the bending of waves or of light when it encounters a surface. That is what we call reflection. Ladies and gentle children and girls, there are two types of reflection. Two types of reflection. Reflection can be regular or reflection can be irregular. Reflection can be smooth or it can be diffused. Regular reflection are also referred to as smooth reflection. Regular reflection is simply reflection from a smooth surface, nothing more, nothing less. Since we said that when waves encounter a surface or when they enter a surface, they bounce back, surfaces are not always smooth, okay? They are not smooth. So if this is a smooth surface and there is reflection, this reflection is somehow smooth or regular. But if you have a scatter surface, random surface or the rate of zagazaganess, the rate of disorderliness, the rate of bendiness of the surface is like this. Once 
a wave or a lightness on it, it will also reflect. But the reflection will not be regular. It will be irregular. It will be scattered. It will be what? Diffused. Now, the next thing I am about to tell you, we either make or mar your career when it comes to reflection of light. So take it serious. Let's take the regular reflection as case study. If you have something like this, take this to be a surface. The problem people have is that they don't relate things to real life. If I draw a line like this and I say this is a surface, let it be a surface. What does it mean? If it is, let it be a table, let it be a mirror, let it be a wall. Now, the surface must not be like this. It can be standing like this or there must be any position. So take it as a surface, smooth surface. If you run the primary six exam, you will know that if I have a line like this and I draw another line like this, this is a perpendicular line. This forms angle 90 with this and this forms angle 90 with this. So let's go here surface. So if the surface is like this or like this, anywhere the surface is, any line that is perpendicular to the surface or that is at 90 degrees like this to the surface, irrespective of where the surface is, is referred to as the normal. Is referred to as the normal. The normal. The normal. So this is normal to the surface. Okay? What else should you know? Now, this light can come in any direction. It can come from here or it can come from here. Now, let's say the woman is here. The fine babe. No, you, ugly boy that is looking for trouble. You are here. Now, you shine your mumu touch like this. In such a way that this fine girl, pretty, is minding her business. She's minding her business. You shine your torch here. Now, this torch you are shining from the source, let's say it comes here like this. And if you attended primary school, you'll be told that when two lines meet, an angle is formed. So if you do like this and like this, these are parallel lines. They do not meet. By the time this crosses this or goes here, this meeting, they are referred to as angle. You can draw like this so where this light is coming from like this down that is the incident ray the light ray is incident ray incident ray is the source if the light were coming from here here will be the incident ray take note of that and we said that we are trying to look for trouble to Made this girl inconvenient, uncomfortable, uncomfortable to cause glare, to cause catastrophe, you know, or to get her attention. As this light gets to this surface, this light will bounce back like this. So look at this. Incidence is coming like this, you see, from your torch or from your source of light. This here now, the light is not going here. So, this one going back is not original. It is from this that this one is going back. So, this is called reflected ray. Ray, right? Incident, reflected ray. If the incident were coming from here, the reflected ray will go this way. So, look at this. There are many angles here. In fact, this, this can even go down here. Or let's say imaginary. If this is a surface, me just imaginary. Or the other type part of the surface. There are many angles here. The first one is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. This is your normal force uh, or normal reaction or the normal angle. Now, if you look at this another angle here, this is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. This is surface. This is surface. 
There's also another angle here. The angle here is angle between the reflected ray and the surface. Now there is another angle here, which is between the surface and down across the surface or opposite of the reflection. So, incident ray, surface, normal, and reflected ray. If as at this point you don't understand the surface, you don't know the normal, you don't know what incident ray is, and you don't know what reflected ray is, go over, start this video again. If you understand, continue. The angle between this incident ray and the normal, here yeah, like this, is called the incident angle. Angle. We can call it I or whatever. Let's denote it like that. Now you see the reflected ray and you see the normal. This angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called reflected angle. Reflected angle or angle of reflection. Here you can see angle of incidence. I. Now, you see this angle between the incident ray and the surface, not between the incident ray and the normal, but incident ray and the surface. This is called angle of glance. Let's call it G. So if they say the angle between incident ray and the surface is called dash, don't rush and say angle of incidence. Angle of incidence is only between the incident ray and the normal. Angle of Reflection is only between the reflected ray and the normal. But by the time surface comes to play, the angle you have between the incident ray and the surface is angle of is called the angle of glance. So here also between reflected ray and the surface is called glance. Glance angle or angle of glance. Now if you begin to go down like this imaginary, this angle that is formed here between the surface and this guy. It's called the angle of deviation. And for calculation C, angle of deviation is equals 2 times the angle of glance. So if you multiply angle of glance by 2, you get the angle of deviation. How does this change the price of Gary in the market? They will tell you that the angle of glance is 20 degrees. Find the angle of deviation. Instead of thinking, oh, how do I do this? This is a spiritual problem. Just multiply and you get your answer. Up next, reflection has laws. Basically, three laws. But for the scope of this class, we shall be looking at two laws. Two laws of reflection. The first law of reflection states that the incident angle the reflected angle and the normal at the point of incidence they all lie on the same plane this is the plane so the incident angle reflected angle and the normal at the point of incidence lie at the same plane so you see all of them they are lying at the same plane the second law is also simple it says that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection meaning the angle at which this Incident ray hits here, which is the angle the incident ray makes with the normal, is the same thing as the angle the reflected ray makes with the normal. So if this light hits here and here is 30 degrees, here will also be 30 degrees. If you shift the light a little, you bend it to let's say 50 degrees, the reflected angle with the normal will also be 50 degrees. So the angle of the incident makes with the normal is the same thing as. The angle the reflected ray makes with the normal. Very, very simple laws. If a ray incidated on a plane mirror, which means this surface here is plane mirror. This is a mirror. Standing like this or like this in any way. In this plane mirror, a ray is incidented and the angle of incidence, <coughs> pardon, <coughs> pardon again, is 35 degrees. To the normal. So this is the incidence, this is the normal. So the angle of incidence to the normal is 35 degrees. 
You see, 35 degrees. The reflected angle is also 35 degrees to the normal. So, this is also 35 degrees to the normal. This also means our room, or this also follows the second law of reflection, which says the angle of incidence to the normal is the same thing as angle of reflection to the normal. Incidence angle is equal to the reflected angle. It says find the angle of glance. Angle of glance is G. Here is G and here is A. So, from mathematics, what do we know? We know that from here to here, like this, here is 90 degrees. We know that from here to here, like this, here is 90 degrees. So, if here is 35 degrees, the remaining angle here, the angle of glance here, will simply be, okay, look at this, 35 degrees plus this angle of glance. Everything should give us 90 degrees because this is a right angle. So, angle of glance will therefore be 90 degrees minus 35 degrees. That should give you 55 degrees. So, the angle here is 55 degrees and the angle here is 55 degrees. If you add everything, it gives you angle on a straight line which is 180 degrees. So, 55 degrees plus 35 degrees plus 35 degrees plus 55 degrees should give you 155 degrees. Sum of angle in the straight line. Angle in the circle is 360 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this beautiful episode. And I hope you found something interesting. In the next episode, we shall proceed. I think uh, that will focus on images formed on a plane mirror. For now, head on to your App Store, Play Store, or tap me up directly to install and activate the Flash Learner Jump application. It is compulsory. Why I teach you, the app will help you to answer a lot of questions under every topic. So after each class, open the app and begin to practice. And we have competitions to, to win prizes and a lot of features. And who wants to be a millionaire? It is something you must get and get right now for your own good. Testimonies of people scoring very high above 300 using the Flash Learner app. You see it in many comments. We aren't here to play, we are here to guide you. See ya, I am Isaac from the future.